Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Tracy Boyd's Crokinole. My name is Linder Wendt, and I'll be commentating through this match. We have Sean Haggerty starting off. A little hot, bounces out of the 20. Landrill running, lining up a shot in return and gets the takeout. Haggerty goes quick to deflect near the post on Landrill. Landrill probably trying to angle in for that 20, but left it near the post. Not a terrible leave, no easy takeout for Haggerty here. He shoots and he catches a peg on the way, so that's a miss. Langell gets a free open shot and he sinks it. Don't want to give those to Ron Langell. Oh, but Haggerty almost makes a great 20 in return. And we'll see how Langell deals with this lineup. And he goes through his own and gets the takeout of Haggerty. Haggerty with another near miss of the 20. Almost got the deflection on his way in, but now Landel's got two on the board, one in the 20. He's going to be tough to beat in this round. Looks like he went for a push follow through 20 there, and he did get the takeout, but possibly left a 20 for Haggerty to convert here. We'll see how he lines it up. And indeed, he gets the clean takeout 20. We'll see how Landel responds with the open shot off to his right side. And he sinks his 20, advancing his lead. And Haggerty now has to shoot across the board, but he does get a double peel, a very nice shot. Landrill puts another one there to keep play on his side of the board, and Haggerty runs out of time, and Landrill gets the first round based on his extra 20. Haggerty had a great morning to start off. He was the overall points leader after the preliminary round. You see this round. Langell starts off with a 20, Haggerty responds in turn. Langell continues with another 20, and Haggerty brings it right back. We have a nice 20s race brewing here between these two, and that's three 20s each for them. As you can see, the contestants are playing at quite a quick pace. These rounds are timed so that all the matches can get in before the finals, so a very quick pace is being kept up here, but they are not dropping their 20 percentage at all. Langell makes his 6th 20, Haggerty makes his 6th, they only have two buttons left each. Langell unrelenting, and Haggerty goes just long on his second to last shot. Langell with a very nice rollout, should not give Haggerty much to shoot at. Haggerty needs a 20 to force a tie in this round, and he does not get it, so Langell will take round 2 and go up 4 to 0. And this is a four-round match, so no matter what the score is, the contestants will just play four rounds as they try to accumulate points to advance to the semifinals. Haggerty opens up round three with a 20, to which Langell responds in turn. Haggerty keeps the 20 coming, as does Langell, almost too hot there. But both contestants clearly keeping their cool in this round and continuing to shoot at a very high percentage, Haggerty just long again. He's been the first to miss in each of these three rounds so far. Landrill gets the takeout and follows through into a nice spot, but oh, what a shot by Haggerty, bending his disc in, getting the takeout, exactly what he wanted to do there. And now we are back to a 20s race with these two contestants, just fantastic on their open 20s. They don't get a lot of misses, so when you do get one, you have to make sure to capitalize. Now each down to their final disc, and Haggerty sinks it, Langell sinks it back. That round is a tie, giving Langell a 5-1 to one lead with one round left to play. There's that great shot from Haggerty again down the line, just absolutely beautiful. Langell here opens the next round with a 20, Haggerty responds with a 20 of his own. And we may be off to another 20 race. Oh, but Langell, super Steve as they call it, shooting right over the house and having an invalid shot. Langell comes back a little long on that one. Haggerty's got a nice little cushion here, both with the hammer, a, an extra 20, and a piece on the board. He's going to be hard to beat in this round. Likely going for just a takeout here, not needing to force anything too crazy. And Lantel is now in a tough position. He's got two discs he needs to take out in addition to securing a 20 with his last four shots. We'll see how he manages the board. Looks like he's opting to bring play back to his side, hoping to draw a mistake out of Haggerty, which may be a tough task, but it's a very nice hide behind that peg. We'll see. Haggerty finds him, keeps the disc back there. Landrill is in trouble. 
We'll see what he does here. He really does need quite one heck of a shot here. He makes one last attempt to force a mistake out of Haggerty. Haggerty says, nope, I'm going to keep on the pressure here. Langell takes one shot, inconsequential. Haggerty with a big lead there that was insurmountable. We'll look at some of the highlight shots here. Haggerty really did not let Langell hide from him. Langell had some nice shots right behind the peg, and Haggerty hit him. And that is a 5-3 victory in that four-round game for Ron Langell. Thanks again for tuning in to Tracy Board's Crokinole coverage. I'm Linder Wendt, and this was a very fun match between two high-level competitors. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> That's true.